What's up, Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Minecraft. So, last episode I told everybody if they wanted to see more, to go ahead and comment, let me know, or do a like in the video. And apparently a lot of people want to see more. They actually wanted this to turn into a series, so that's what we're going to do. Enough people said yes, that we're going to continue. I am having kind of a lot of fun playing this game. Minecraft is extremely addicting. I'm already starting to figure that out, and I'll show you. I started on something, and I went just a little bit overboard. But let's go ahead and get back into first person. I'll show you guys. While we're waiting... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, while we're waiting for daylight and all the zombies to pretty much burn, I'll go down here and show you guys what I've done. Look at that. Now, the reason I put doors here is because I'm still trying to figure out uh, spawns. I apparently didn't put enough torches down and stuff with spawning down in my little tunnel. Let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you. So, stuff was still spawning in here because I didn't have enough light and they were getting up in here. One creeper did actually blow up in here, so a lot of the stuff I had to rebuild. It destroyed my crafting bench and other stuff, so... We got everything rebuilt. We're all good. One thing I want to show you, though, look what I've done. Yup. <laughs> uh, yeah, I went a little bit overboard with the digging, and I'll show you guys what I've been doing. So I wanted to dig down just to see how far I could go before I hit lava. Now, as you can see, I dig it down pretty far, but I didn't hit lava yet. I still have not seen any lava. But down here is a cave, and I did explore it a little bit, but I still need to explore more. We'll do that at some other point, because but there's other stuff that we need to get into. But that's not where I got everything. That's not what I wanted to show you. Check this out. This is where I got all the stone. Uh, this, this took me... I started digging, and I was like, you know what? Let's go down one more level. And this is what we got. So I have been figuring out the stairs and some of the platforms. And we're doing pretty good. I mean, I've gotten a lot of coal. I've gotten a lot of iron. I think I have the iron on me, actually. Yeah, I do. I have, holy shit, 71? And I think that's enough for everything that we need to get as far as weapons and armor. Everything in iron. Which is cool. Which is awesome. There's also... A few other things. Oh, I might need to make that wider. There's a few other things that we need to actually make for the video today. One thing we don't have is a bed. So I'm definitely going to need to make some wool. So let's go into the crafting table. Or not make wool, but we're going to need shears to gather the wool. I think everything should be, yep, down in weapons. There's also another thing, but I need... I got flint. Where did I put it? There it is. Oop, oop, grab it. There we go. So I did, I didn't get a whole lot of flint, but I got a little bit. Now the flint I was getting, let's see if I can find some. Uh, there is gravel right there. There was a ton of it down in here and all the gravel that I actually dug out, I still only got 27 flint, which is something I also need for arrows. So, I'm kind of seeing now that it's going to take a whole lot just to make arrows, and arrows aren't going to be used a whole lot. I'll probably have to take them to, like, dungeons and stuff like that, but we're going to go ahead and save those. So, let's go ahead and go into weapons. Uh, flint and steel. Don't know what I could use that for yet. I, I guess there's probably a few things, but we'll go ahead and make one of those. That's going to take iron ingot and one flint. And then we have the iron axe. And we have an iron chest plate. That's how you make it. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Then we have iron helmet. Iron leggings, iron boots, iron, oh, here we go. This is what we need. We need shears. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of the stuff down here. 
And where was I? Leggings, shears, shovel. And we'll get rid of everything else as well. All the old tools that we no longer need. All the iron stuff that I really haven't even used yet. But then we're going to need iron pick. And do we not have... Oh, there's a second page. Okay. Ooh, what's this? A shield. How do I make that? Oh, I need wood. Oh, we got wood. All right, let's go ahead and make the sword. And I need a shield. So we're going to need... Is it like that? Yeah. Okay. So let's actually see. How many can I... Do I need to make? And the shield. <laughs> I can't believe I got a shield. All right. Let's go... Advancement made suit up. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So I think, yeah, you just drag everything where it needs to go. And the shield, I think, goes in the offhand. Now, someone was also telling me that I could put torches in my offhand, but I gave that a try and... They weren't lit up, so I don't know exactly how to do that. That's something I'm going to have to figure out. And I guess right now we can go ahead... Ooh, shit. Okay, so... Hold down the right mouse button for the shield. Can I keep that when I'm... Oh, I can. I can switch weapons and keep it on me. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of the flint, the iron. Now, let's just get rid of everything we're not going to need for actually let's keep the wood just in case we're also going to need a little bit more food too because I'm starting to run out uh, the coal the dirt and let's get rid of the old tools so we're doing pretty good we're advancing pretty well all right is it daytime yet oh yes it is all right so let's go out what I need to do first is we need to find Actually, that kind of obstructs the view just a little bit. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, what we need to find now are sheep. Another thing I need to do is go ahead and collect some of these flowers. Because at some point, I don't know what all flowers. But at some point, we can make dye. I have no idea what I'm going to dye yet. But that's something I just have to figure out. So we're going to go ahead and... I don't even know what all dyes I can make in the game yet. But we'll just go ahead and grab a bunch, all the different colors that we see. And we'll figure it out. We'll kind of test some stuff out and see what we can make. Oop, nope, control. I'm so used to hitting shift for sprinting. Alright, let's see what other... There's some yellow ones and it looks like we have purple over there. So yeah, I think I'm getting a little bit sick because I, I keep getting frogs in my throat. Alright, there's some yellow. Alright, I think we have enough of that to test it out. There's also some purple over there I guess we can go ahead and get. I can't sprint. Oh, I'm hungry. Hold on. Oh, I think I ate too much, actually. I don't think I needed to eat that much. Ah, that's all right. No big deal. Let's go ahead and grab these purple, it looks like roses. All right, have we got any more? Yep, we have some light blue. So one thing I do want to do is a lot of these animals around here, I want to try to save them. Because at some point we will be making pins that we're going to need them for. Alright, there's some blue. Yeah, and it looks like it's used to make blue dye. I hear there's also secondary colors that you can make. You mix uh, two dyes together to make secondary colors. I have no idea what they are. I'll probably have to look on the wiki. 
I probably, I don't think I'll be able to figure them out on my own, or maybe I will. We'll just see. Right, I think that's enough blue. Next thing we need to find is some sheep. Let's go ahead and get the chicken. Okay, here we go. Now we got some sheep. Let's see. What is it? Seven? All right, let's see how this works. I think we just go up to them and right click. I think we need three for bed. Oh, there we go. I could dye wool. That's right. All right, let's go ahead and get one more because I will need to build multiple bl uh, multiple beds. Oh, there we go. And I think their wool does regrow. I'm not 100% sure on that. Let's see, how much do I have? We have six. I think that's enough. Oh, you already grew. Okay, that was quick. I think he ate, yeah, he ate some grass and it just immediately grew. So yeah, the wool, yeah, that one just uh, actually just now grew. So that's cool. Means you could get a ton of wool, uh, wool really quick. Uh, so the armor that we did actually skip was leather armor, but I had to kill a lot of cows to make that. Uh, any other colors we can get? I don't see any. I think we might have gotten all the colors in this area. There might be more. I have no idea. We'll we'll see. I want to save the pigs. I want to save the cows. Uh, chickens. We don't need a whole lot of chickens, so I could go ahead and kill those. They're all over the place. They're easy to find. I think just a couple more just to get us some food. At some point, we will... Oh, egg. At some point, we will be making animal pens. So I'll have more than I can use. Ooh. Oh, there's lava. Well, that kind of tells me just how deep I need to go in order to get to lava. It's pretty damn deep. I'll have to dig quite some time to get down to there. I might actually... I might even try to dig a tunnel because there's some iron here too. Might be handy to get some of that. I might... Where is my base? Yeah, it's right over there. I might actually dig... Once I get down to that depth, I might go ahead and just build a tunnel that goes all the way to this canyon. But that really does look ominous. It looks cool, though. All right, now that we got some wool, we need to figure out how to make a bed. I'm pretty sure the bed is just going to be a little bit of wool and a little bit of wood. Oh, shit. Well, that day didn't last very long, did it? So what I need to do also is I need to build a lot of lanterns. We need to get a ton of lanterns so that way, or what are they called? Torches. We need to get a lot of torches so we can go ahead and uh, put them around our areas so that way stuff will not spawn. Oh, I do have, I only got two feathers. I killed like what, four chickens? All right, so here's what we can make. We can make blue dye and then we could use that dye to dye wool. We're not interested in that right now. What I want is beds. Where are... Okay, there's one bed. I guess you can make them different colors. You know what? There is one more dye that I know I did not get. Hold on. Oh, nope. Not in the dark. <laughs> not gonna do it. Screw it. We'll just go ahead and make a white bed. We don't need the shears for right now, so let's go ahead and place that. We'll just place it right here. And there we go. Now we have a spawn point. We could go ahead and sleep through the night. So, luckily I haven't died yet. As you can see, I have uh, XP of 13. I'm level 13 right now. I guess it's not really a level. I guess you can use it in enchanting later on. But... The point is, <laughs> I forget what point I was trying to make. I definitely am getting sick. But the spawn point is where you originally spawned. I think I originally spawned way 
over there somewhere. Not way over, but just a little bit over there. So if I would have died, I would have spawned right back over there. I would have been able to find my uh, little cave because I'm not that far away. So it's kind of important that your first uh, little house that you build is close to the original spawn. Until you can get a bed down, the first time you sleep in that bed, that becomes your new spawn point. Until you destroy the bed and then you spawn in the original spawn again. That's kind of handy to know. So next thing I want to do is we kind of need to figure something out. I kind of like this spot right here. It's a nice big spot. I think I'll level it out just a little bit more. I'd hate to get rid of this water, but I think I'm going to have to. Uh, what we need to build is a house, some stables. We'll probably get some horses, some cows. I'll probably try to get all the animals. Ooh, egg. I'll probably try to get all the animals that I can. It might actually even be handy to go ahead and split up the animals. Oh, that kind of reminds me. Sheep. We need... We need black dye, which I think you get from ink sacks on the oh. octopus. And, of course, now that we're actually looking for them, they're nowhere to be found. I think there was some more over here. Another thing I need to do is collect a ton of sand. Which it looks like I could get from that island right there. Because sand, we could do a few things. We could use the sand for building. We could use it, uh, make sandstone out of it. Or we can use it to uh, put it in the furnace to make glass. And glass panes, which I'm going to be doing at some point. You know what? I have an idea, though. Since I want to grab all that sand, and it looks like there's some sand, sandstone there too. That might actually work. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten that entire island out and I'm going to put a cabin on it. And that will be my first home. And then I'll build a bridge to it and... I don't know. I don't know. That's something I'll have to figure out. Where the hell did all all the octopus go or the uh i think they're actually squids my bad they disappeared another thing we also need to collect is clay i guess there's a couple things you could do with clay which i'm not seeing all i know is it's kind of a gray a light gray color mm. yeah i'm not seeing any all I know is, <laughs> I know that it's near water somewhere. Usually on the shores. But that's something we'll have to look for. Alright, so another thing I want to do is I want to do some exploring. So, what we need to do is, do I have any dirt on me? Nope, we need to grab some dirt. In order to explore, you need to be able to find your way back. So I need to build a beacon. This is something I actually had to look up, uh, ways of not getting lost in Minecraft. And I think what I'll do is I'll go to the top of that mountain right there. Ooh. Oh, that noise. I I even uh, figured out what that means. That's actually let me know that there is a cave somewhere around me. But yeah, we'll go up to the top. We'll grab some dirt. We'll build ourselves a little beacon that we can see from far, far away. And where's all that dirt? There we go. I think that would be enough. Come on, let me out. So that way we can see it from far, far away and we'll be able to find our way back. Let's go ahead and get our shovel so we can dig a stairway up. Oh, is there another cave right here? Oh, you know what? I think this is where the water comes from. No, there's no hole. There was some water down in the cave system that I found. But I don't think it comes from here because I don't see a hole going down. 
And you know what? This might actually be a nice little place to build another shack. Another little house. I'm seeing all kinds of places that would be nice to build on. So it's kind of like I have to make up my mind. Where do I want to build? Alright, can we get up here? Here we go. Wow, I can see pretty far. Alright, so... I think one thing I need to do... Let's get up here so I can see. Uh, we see a little bit of a fog. I can see pretty far, but I don't think that's going to be far enough. Actually, while I'm bullshitting, how big is this map? Because that looks like the edge of the map there, and so does that. So does that over there. So I don't think this map is that big. I don't know. That's something we'll have to figure out. We'll have to do some exploring to figure out how big this uh, map actually is. Or it's procedurally generated, so I'm guessing the more we travel, the more it opens up. I don't know. We'll see. That's one of those things that I have to figure out. I have so many things I need to figure out. Alright, so what we need to do is we need a way up and then we need a way down. So I need to build... Actually, Rose... Oh, I messed that up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now I got the hang of it. Alright, I think that's high enough. I can see that from pretty far off. Alright, now we need a lantern. Or a torch. I keep saying lantern. And then we'll go ahead and just dig our way down. Let's go ahead and get the shovel. I think that's faster with... Yep, dirt. And there we go. Now we got... Oh, wow. Okay, maybe that's higher than I thought it would be. Let's get down here and see just how high this thing is. Oops. Oh, wow. Okay, that'll work. I could probably see that from pretty far away. And I never noticed the clouds before. They look solid, so I wonder if they knock you. Nah, they wouldn't. They would have to go right. Oh, there we go. That's what we were looking for. God damn it, I keep falling. Alright, Mr. Squid. Sorry, dude, but I need something from you. Oh, it dropped. Okay, so we do have limited time in water, or underwater. I do see the bubbles right there. Now they're going up. They're above the food. But I think the ink sack is already black ink. So I think right now I can make... Let's go ahead and close this door. Uh, what we need to do is dye some wool. No? Maybe I don't have enough. Okay, come to the black one. I just want to see how we make that. So, yeah. There's green one, so let's try... I think we put it up here and then the wool here. No? Okay, so how do we make black ink? Oh, black dye. There we go. And unfortunately, I can only make one. But then we take that, put it up here, and then the wool. And there we go. Now we got black wool. Uh, the problem is... So yeah, we can make different colored beds, but unfortunately, I don't have all the dye for it. And then we have to take all these flowers and plants and turn them into dye. Starting to figure it out. Uh, it looks like blue, red, yellow, black, light gray, pink, and oh, here we go. Gray dye. All right, what else? One thing I also haven't done is go through this whole thing and see what I can build now. One thing I did learn is stone bricks. So if we take the gravel 
Let's go ahead and grab a whole bunch of it and put it into the furnace. It will actually make stone, which then we could turn into stone bricks. And we can actually build with that. So I'm learning things kind of slow. I also went through and tried everything else. I tried dirt. Now let's see, what all do I have? I tried the cobblestone. I tried the andesite, which I still don't know what I could do with that. Uh, the granite, the gravel, and the diorite. I tried everything to see if I could cook it up. And the only thing that I was able to do this with is the cobblestone, which doesn't really make any sense it's not realistic but i guess you do need a way to make stone in the game it wants you to actually have a lot of cobblestone so one thing i do need to do is i need to go ahead and do some more digging uh we still have a bunch of stuff that we can uh process or claim and now that we gotta have a bed we have a respawn point not a whole lot in this episode Oh, shit, it's dark. Hold on. Let's go ahead and sleep. Not a whole lot got done in this episode. Just looking around, trying to test some stuff out. Uh, there'll probably be a few episodes like that. While I'm trying to learn what's going on with the game. But I think next episode, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get started on a permanent domicile. A nice little house, cottage, log cabin, whatever. Uh, probably put it on that island that looks like it would be a good spot for it because I don't think a lot of the uh, spawns can actually get on that island through water. I don't think they swim. The zombies and, well, maybe they do. Yeah, I do think I actually saw a zombie in the water. I don't know. But it slows them down, so it'd be... You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to go ahead and build a house right on that island, which means I need to get rid of all of that. A nice little flat surface to start on. I'll probably also go ahead and square it off just a little bit. Uh, the floating island. Now, somebody told me that I should build something on it, but I don't know what would make it worth it. So I think we'll go ahead and leave the island for right now. You guys come up with some ideas. What can we do with the floating island? I thought about it. I can't figure anything out. You guys let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for the floating island. I'll go ahead and build a house on that island. And we also need to go ahead and try to get some animals as well. I think a house should be our first. Yeah, that should be our main priority, getting a house built. So that way I'm not sitting in that dark ass dungeon this entire time. I'm kind of getting tired of being in the dark. Oh, shut up. That's also something we need to do, cows. I think with cows, you can not only get beef and leather, you can also get milk. Uh, milk has a use of taking away negative spells? Something like that. Ah, oh, there's another squid over there. There's a couple more. Now they finally spawned back in. I need to grab a couple of those because I do want to get a black bin. I know, I'm, that's kind of my favorite color, is black. Black and red. So, anyways, like I said, not a whole lot getting done in this episode, but we're going around grabbing flowers. Uh, we got a bed made, and I think we're ready to get a house. And then after the house, I guess we'll go ahead and get some animals, uh, try to get some pens. We also need to do some farming. Uh, which we'll probably do in this area, but we'll worry about that in the next episode. Until then, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.